Assalamualaikum and hi to everyone. Today, I want to present about part one preliminary in OSHA factory, section four until six. First, section four, appointment of officers. They shall be appointed an officer to be styled the chief inspector of factory and machinery and such number of deputy chief inspectors, senior inspectors, and inspectors of factory and machinery as may be necessary for the purpose of this act. They shall be appointed such other officer as may be expedient for the performance of such duties as may be prescribed under this act. As we can see, this is the organization based on appointment of officer. In this triangle table, we can see that chief inspectors is the most highest in the organization uh, followed by deputy chief inspectors senior inspectors inspector of factories and machinery and the last one is officers next the section five is supervision of officer this include all deputy chief inspector at is appointed to give direction and supervision to all senior inspectors and officers under him that means the chief inspector as the highest in the organization must lead their, their colleges and their workers under him. The, the senior inspector have to exercise the power vest in the lower level inspector. That means uh, the senior inspector must help the chief inspector to guide the lower level inspector under him too. Chief Inspector may in writing delegate any of the function, power or duties which suit other inspector. That means Chief Inspector must give the job and use his power to give job to the inspector that suits them. Next, uh, uh, delegation shall not preclude the Chief Inspector. The last one is officers are public servants too. All officers appoint under section 4 considered as public servants within the meaning of penal code act 574. A licensed person as a servant and agent and other person employed by him will be deemed as public servants within the meaning of penal code when discharging their duty. Uh, we move to the, that's all from the slide. Next, we move to the question. Question one and two, based on the slide. First, all the deputy chief better senior inspector, inspector and officer shall subject to direction and supervision of The answer is Chief Inspector, that means Chief Inspector is the most highest in the organization. So, they are senior inspector, inspector, officer must refer to the direction and the supervision of the chief inspector as their guide. Next question is, all officers appoint under section 4 considered as 10 within the meaning of penal code act 574. A. Public agent B. Public deputy C. Public servant Within these three, which is the answer? A, B or C?
The answer is C, the public servant. That means all officers are appointed under section 4 considered as a public servant too within the meaning of an accord at 4. Next, the question 3. Also, based on the slide, what will happen when a senior inspector perform or exercise function, power or duty, which is not delegated to him or her? Answer is the work that the inspector done might incorrect and affect the authenticity of the result. That means uh, the senior inspector must not use the power of function into the negative and may be affecting the income of the company or factory. We move to the next question. Question 4 and 5 are uh, based on the KBAT. If officers don't get any direction and supervision given by the senior inspector and something bad incident happen, who should be blamed in this situation? So you choose uh, within the chief inspector, senior inspector, the inspector, all the officers who should be blamed within this in the organization or what will happen if we blame him or her So the answer is, in my opinion, we should blame anyone and get the situation we can more worse. Besides, we must be focused with our responsibility and become more focused by not doing it in the future. So if we blame each other, the organization will become disaster. So who should do the work? We must fire the officer. We must blame the officer. So don't do that. Keep moving forward and just follow the through and improve to get better result. So the last question is, what will happen to our country if all the organization from the appointment of officers don't follow the rule of supervision as I present in the slide? So what your opinion? What will happen to our country? So, for my answer in this question, in my opinion, The economy, yeah, this situation will affect the economy of our country, will become declining as the factory of the product manufacturer in our country can sustain their profit. They mean they may lose or they lose their worker, thus their worker's income and the people may be suffering by rising, the rising of price of essential goods such as their basic needs. They must think, uh, they must pay for their family, tuition, their bills, their home, their car, and so many. So, if we not follow the all the section and the rule as a worker, 
as I said at the last slide, we will become a bad worker and the economy of our country may affect it. So that's all for me. Thank you.